Hey guys, my name is Rishav Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani. And this video is about DASA in Bits Pilani. So first of all, I like to start the video by telling you what's the meaning of DASA. So DASA stands for Direct Admission of Students Abroad. And this is an initiative by the government of India so that foreign nationals or NRIs or person of Indian origin can get a seat in a college of India. Okay, yeah, so you can't get direct admission into Bits Pilani through DASA. Rather, you have to give the exam called SAT and it has two parts, one which you have uh, eligibility criteria and other which determines the cutoff at which you will enter bits. So I'll talk about it more after this. So what I'll do is that I'll look on the official Bits Pilani website and tell you the details which will be completely uh, true and that will help you make a better decision. So first of all, we'll like, uh, so first of all, I'll check what's the eligibility criteria. So you must see that the eligibility criteria is that you must have a 75% aggregate marks in physics, chemistry and maths in the above examination, which is whatever your grade 12 examination it is. Or if you are not of percentage, then you should have a 7.5 grade on 10 point scale. See, in total, you should have a 75% marks, but individually, you should also have 60% minimum 60% marks in physics, chemistry and maths. So other than that, you should see SAT examination is divided into two parts. So in the first part, in the first examination, which is which consists of reading test, writing and language test and maths test, in that you must get 1160, which is the cutoff. You must score more than that to, you know, be eligible. But this will not be the score which will decide which branch you'll get. Also, if you are applying this year, then you should not have written the SAT earlier than February 1, 2020. Also, it is possible that you may apply this year, but you have not given SAT yet then you can uh, submit your SAT scores before June 30, 2022. So this is the thing, you'll get a provisional admission. And also it is posted on 14th February that you should apply if you're an international student. Even for international students, there are the same undergraduate programs that is chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electrical and electronics, EC, ENI, mechanical, manufacturing, B Pharma. These are the courses that you'll get. And there are MSc courses also, which are dual degree in Bits Pilani. So the same thing is true for them also. If we talk about the fees, then it's almost double to the normal students. If we talk about uh, non-SARC students, then you'll have to pay around 6,13,000 for one semester. And if you are a SARC student, then you'll have to pay 3,86,000 for one semester. Other than that, there are also scholarships for everyone. Because uh, if you are top four, if you belong to the top four percent, okay, when you are you completed a semester and they look upon your CGPA, and if you are in the top four percent, they'll give they'll give you eighty percent scholarship. But if you are in the next ten percent, they'll give you fifty percent. If you are in the next twenty percent, they'll give you thirty percent. But if you are not eligible in all of these, then also you'll get a fifteen percent tuition fee waiver and. But the thing is that you'll get a 15% tuition fee for sure, but you, you should maintain at least six CGPA. So this is about the fees. Also, I would tell that the last day to complete this application form is 5 p.m. on June 30. So I would request you to fill it as soon as possible. There is a little bit time left, but still it's better to apply as soon as possible. Other than that, as I've told you, there is an exam called SAT. In the normally the first one, it is of 1600 marks and the eligibility was 1160. I've written 1260, which is wrong. But uh, the second is 2400 marks and it is divided into three parts. That is each is 800 marks. That is physics, chemistry and maths. And this is the main exam because this decides your branch. So I've talked to a lot of people on campus, uh, which have to who have told me that around you have to bring 2400 out of 2400 to get CS in Bits Pilani, which around five to six people are here who have brought and they are in the CS branch. And if you talk about the minimum cutoff, this, these are not official figures because 
I was not able to find official figures, but I've talked to a lot of people and then I've made this conclusion that you have to at least bring 2000 marks uh, for which you may get manufacturing. But this uh, is uh, this changes every year and depends on each year's cutoffs. So uh, you are safe at around a score of 2200 or 2300. So that's it. And also it's very important that you should have a passport of a foreign country. It's not that you have a passport of India, you are living in abroad and you, uh, you can apply, uh, you can get this international student's quota. That means you, you have not to give bits at. You must have a passport of a foreign country. Lastly, I'll talk about the admission process. In this, uh, the thing is you have to appear for the scholastic as assessment test as I told before, which includes a reading test, writing a language test and a maths test. Other than that, you have to request your college board to send SAT scores to Bits Pilani. And please fill the application form latest by June 30. Upload the required documents such as grade 12 mark sheets, photographs, copies of photo, copies of passport. And yeah, the, the application fees is 6750, which have to which you have to pay online. And the merit position of all eligible candidates will be prepared based on their SAT scores, which include uh, whatever tests I talked about. And there are things, uh, what happens if there is a tie and all. So I would request that you also check this website. You just have to write Bits Pilani International Admissions and you'll get a website. You have to enter it and you'll get everything which is important for you. And yeah, I would request that you fill the form as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video.